Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm one of the curators here at Cannon Hall Museum. Um, and this is one of our storerooms. So we just thought you'd be a good chance to give you a little glimpse behind the scenes. And we thought we'd look at a few little objects today just to give you a sense of the sort of things that we've got hidden away here. Um, obviously Barnsley is famous for its glass. We have lots of glass pieces, um, many of which are on display, but we also have quite a few items um, tucked away in storage here. Uh, we've got a couple of great decanters down the bottom here. Uh, the one on the left is what's known as a club decanter. It has a very rounded bottom, so it has to sit in this mahogany base to make sure it doesn't go disappearing off anywhere. And that one dates to about the 1820s. The one next to it dates to about the 1750s, so it's in the middle of the 18th century. And it's obviously um, related to um, a naval victory of some form. I don't know if you can see on there, we've got some flags, we've got some uh, swords that are crossed, and we've got the anchors. Um, it's unlikely it was actually used aboard a ship because it was a slightly different shape. Um, ship's decanters tend to be quite wide at the bottom to make them more stable. So it's more likely to commemorate the victory of some form. Um, we've then got this great water jug, um, which we believe um, was probably made over in Ireland. There's um, obviously a great tradition of um, glass making and cutting over in Ireland. Um, this one dates to about, again, about the 1810s, 1820s. Um, it's beautifully cut. I don't know if you can see all the diamond shapes around the middle. They're all um, carefully cut. And we have what's called step cutting, which is the section above the diamonds. And it produces this series of steps that work their way up the piece. And that would have just been for a dining table um, in this period, just for serving water or something similar. And it is also cut on the base um, where it's got like a sun or a star pattern, as we call it, on the base, which is really nicely done. And then we have a great teapot here. Um, these have great stories to them often. Um, this is what we refer to as bargeware. Um, the reason is that they were obviously often made in local potteries um, in sort of South Yorkshire, Derbyshire particularly. And you'll go along to the local pottery and you'd say to them, right, I want a piece to commemorate something and this is what I want written on it. So they would do this for you. You take a piece of soft clay and you impress it with often the name or the award and the date and they could have been used for all sorts of things. This one's lovely because it's actually a Spencer Stanhope piece and it was the Spencer Stanhopes who lived at Cannon Hall um, through the 18th, 19th centuries into the 20th century. And this one was awarded to Miss M.I. Spencer Stanhope in 1887, but at the moment we don't know what it was actually for, so it'd be great to find that out at some point. And I don't know if you can see, it's got its own little teapot on the finial there, which is absolutely delightful. Um, and then just the final piece we'd like to have a look at, um, there's one up there um, and one behind it, if you can just about see that. These are what we call tazza from the Italian um, and they were very popular on dining tables, particularly in the Victorian period and in the Georgian period as well. Um, these ones are from the late Georgian period and they were really designed for showing off your food. So you could have a set of them on your table, there's actually three of these in total, and you would cover them with fruit, um, what we call sweetmeats, what we'd call little um, pastries or sweets these days. Um, and what you could do, and with like these ones, just three different sizes, you could actually put them one on top of each other to create almost like a cascade of food and display. And it was very much about showing off your wealth and the fruits and the sweets that you could obtain. Um, and, and that, I'm sure at Cannon Hall, we've also included a pineapple. It had a certain um, fame for growing pineapple um, in the wall garden. So um, I hope you've liked some of the little objects that we've seen here. And do come and see us at Cannon Hall.